Christ has redeemed us from spiritual death. We delight ourselves also in the Lord, and he shall give us the desires of our heart. We have given, and it shall be given unto us, good measures, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give unto our bosom. For poverty, he has given us wealth. For sickness, he has given us health. And we have, and we have abundant life in Christ Jesus. We sow bountifully, therefore we reap bountifully. We give cheerfully, and our God, our God, had made all grace abound towards us. There is no light, there is no light, for our God supply all our needs according to His riches and glory by His Christ Jesus. The Lord has pleasure in the prosperity of His servant, and Abraham blessed me are ours in Jesus' name. Let's y'all pray, give God praise so we'll see the Abraham and the blessing are ours. Hallelujah. 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 Shout for the blessings. Wherever you are, shout for the blessings. On this wonderful covenant Sunday, you can shout for the blessings. Shout hallelujah in this place. Come on, somebody shout joyfully in this place. God is a wonderful God. God is a wonderful God, and he's done mighty things. I'm telling you, no matter what the situation is in the world right now, he's brought safety and love and peace and his wonderful grace to you. And because of that, you can shout right along with us. All right, you ready? Come on, let's do it. I have found the one who can save, seen the one who can heal. His name is wonderful. His name is mighty to save. I have found the one. Yeah. Huh. Seen the one, and his name, come on. His name is wonderful. His name is mighty to save. That's it. Wherever you are, you can just shout with us. Shout joyfully to the Lord. Let his praises fill me. Say shout. Shout joyfully to the King. That's it. Can we do that again? Somebody say, shout joyfully joy to the Lord. To the Lord. Let his praises fill me. Shout joyfully joy to the King. To the King. Let all, Let all the King. We out right now. Shout joyfully. Shout joyfully. Yeah. Now, wherever you are, you got to get up with us right now. And you got to do me a favor. Everybody move. Come on. Are you ready? Here we go. Say, Lord, we. Lord, we praise you. Praise you for it. Praise you forever. You are mighty, yeah. You are mighty. Huh. Mighty to deliver. Mighty to deliver. Say, Lord, we. Yeah. Lord, we praise you. Huh. Praise you for it. Praise you for it. Don't wait till the battle is over. Don't 
can't wait till the cure shows up. You know your God is a healer right now. Shout right now. We don't have to wait. We don't have to wait. We can shout right now. We can shout right now. Shout right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. We lift our hands in the sanctuary. Wherever you are, just make a sanctuary. By the lifting of your hands, the lifting of your voice. We give God glory. We honor him. We bless him. We lift him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Rise among us. Dwell among us. Let praises rise from the inside, from the inside of me. Come feel my life yeah. from the inside, from the inside Ooh. of me. May you delight yeah. from the inside, from the inside of me. Set me on fire. From the inside, Hallelujah. from the inside of me, just all I want is for you, you to be glorified, you to be lifted high. Oh, Chill out. 
What can stand? What can stand I feel the presence of God already right now. If you're in your kitchen or if you're in your living room, I know you can feel that. Say it with us. Say what can stand? What can stand again? Yeah. What can stand against you? One more time. a favor. We're going to worship a little bit, but you click that share button. Let your friends know you're in worship. Ah! God, we bless your own name. Yeah, let's just, just get the watch party started right now. We're about to go up and worship. Ah, How great is our God How great is our God. My mama used to love this song. 
I know you got to know this song. No matter where you are, sing that. How great is our God. Come on, say, sing with me. Come on, it's our God. How will sing it. How great. Make some noise. Let your neighbors hear you. Put a shout in the air. Here we go. Say you're the name. You're the name above all names. And you are worthy. Yeah. You are worthy of all praise. And our heart will sing. How great. Here's our God. Somebody put a worship right there. Say you're the man, and you are worthy, yeah. Ooh, oh. and the heart will, how great, let's go, let's go, he really is a great God, hey. everybody lift it up, say, that's all you have to say, say he really is a great God, everybody say he, I can hear you, Everybody say, say he really is great. Everybody is it up, say he really is a great God. Yes, he is. Everybody is it up, say he really is a great God. Everybody is it up, say he really is a great God. That's who you are. That's who you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
That's who our God is. He Hallelujah. is faithful. He is just. He is true. And we are so happy to be experiencing Hallelujah. the love of the Lord together. This is Jesus People Ministries Online. I'm Pastor Rochelle with Dr. Gloria. And welcome once again to the JPMCI online experience of a Sunday service. Awesome. Wonderful. Marvelous. It is a great thing to be a part of the family of God. And some of you tuned back on at 11 from 9. Pastor Rochelle said she had a special guest I that was going to be with her. Well, here I am. <laughs> it's Dr. G. Good old Dr. G. We yeah. brought her into 11 o'clock service. And I was just so excited. I was celebrating with Minister Jason and the praise team and the band. Weren't you just excited about knowing that's who your God is, that he is yeah. with you? for you and never against you. So we are excited together. He's a good God. He's a, a great good, God. good, 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 good God. God. Hallelujah. And uh, so today is our, our day of celebration. You know, it's a beautiful day. We said we can't contain that inside today. Yeah. We had to bring the studio outside and worship Jesus. Come on, y'all. We can have church anywhere. We might not be able to be in the building, but that's okay because the building is in the us. Absolutely. And there is the no distance in the spirit. No. I can sense you. I can feel you. I sense you, Pastor Rochelle. I know. She, she, she feels the horror oh, and the glory. Y'all know how it that is. That is good. But God is faithful. And so this morning, as we celebrate together and as we share in the goodness of Almighty God, we want you to be attentive and alert in your spirit. Grab everybody yeah. around the room and tell them, come on, we're, we're in church today, so let's celebrate God. You know, as we do uh, every Sunday morning when we come together, the first thing we have to do is what? Get a little fellowship. We got to welcome everybody. So y'all know what it's like. Go ahead and text and Send your little, little little shares right now. Share, and yeah. welcome everybody to JPMCI because for 37 years we've been celebrating the faithfulness of Almighty God. And today is our day to begin our appreciation. Oh, we appreciate you. For 37 years. <laughs> so we're going to celebrate together. You. That's right. <laughs> so why don't you go ahead and welcome somebody to JPMCI. We'll be back and we'll share together. Amen. So welcome, welcome, welcome to Jesus People Ministries Church International. You know, we thank God right now, even for this time of sharing together. The word of God will be blessed today and the people of God, we are blessed. So Father, we exalt you, we worship you, and we lift you high in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody say amen, amen while amen. you're right there where you are. Go ahead and send those claps on and just celebrate the goodness of God as we are worshiping our God today. Now, we mentioned when we came in that we're celebrating uh, uh, 37 years this year, and everybody knows that we are on assignment, Matthew chapter 9, to complete and do what Jesus carried out to do, uh, healing those that were sick and oppressed and loving people, walking with compassion and showing them the goodness of Almighty God. But today, you know, this starts the appreciation week in our natural realm of the world. So we are appreciating all of those that have labored with us. Isn't that a blessing? So many and so many volunteers that we've had throughout the years and especially those that are still here with us now worshiping God with us and helping us to fulfill the call of God, the vision that the Lord God instilled in Bishop Isaiah and now in all of us. And we are carrying it out all around our city, around the state of Florida, throughout our nation and around the world. Praise God. That's true. And, you know, we have so many auxiliary areas of ministry that work with us. How many would you say um, that, that are, are active and moving? Well, at least some? 47. 40, almost yeah. 47 areas of ministry 
ministry. Um, I give shout outs. I gave in the nine o'clock service my shout out for the youth ministry. You know, I'm, I'm young. Hallelujah. I stay young and uh, large and in charge. How about that? <laughs> but what about, what, what are some of the other All areas? of the other areas, the um, children's ministry, um, we have the outreach ministry, I we have the kids STM. Too. I give a great big shout out to SP, I love STM. The kids. Do all y'all have y'all kids still at home with y'all? Can we ha can we homeschool at somebody else's house? Praise yeah, I don't think so right now. <laughs> but anyways, and we have hospitality, we love have um, the ushers, and we have the um, watchmen. Wait, I want to give a so shout out to many. communications too. Communication. Communi communications. Praise yes. All y'all communicators. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you so much for helping us in whatever area that you're working in and supporting the work of the ministry. Amen. We love Praise our family. God. And you know, I was going to ask Dr. Gloria, I invited her. We're the finance committee. Oh, yeah. Thank God, God thank for Eric. For Hallelujah. Yeah. And everyone that works with him. I was going to ask Dr. Gloria, as, as a matter of fact, I asked her to be on the show or on this time of service today with us because I wanted to just ask her, uh, 37 years ago, when they began this work, when the Lord put it on their hearts, and in appreciation to all I heard her say, all those that have served with us throughout these times and years, what was it like to, to begin a work in the South Florida area? What was that like? Well, it was very, very interesting and very exciting. And, of course, um, Bishop and I had been uh, – uh, active part of other ministries before we started uh, Jesus People Ministries and the pastor of the church that we were in, it was actually an Assembly of God church. We left, uh, we were at a Baptist church, we went to Assembly of God church so that we could understand the move and the flow of Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And that pastor literally launched us out, sent us out, paid for our first insurance uh, installment and got us started in ministry in Miami Gardens and and it just was a wonderful thing how people just started coming and, right. and just started staying. In the first place we were in, we called it Sardine. Right, right. It was a little tiny storefront, but oh my God, we packed people in there. We packed 150 people in there. We packed 300 people in there. We couldn't get anybody else in there. So then we moved to a larger facility. And many of you all that are attesting to that, because you were there. Some of them are still Some of there you were there with us started. then. And I remember, oh my God, I I remember when Bishop said that the Lord told him to go full time in ministry. That meant, you know, that meant that man leave his regular job and start working the ministry full time. Well, I had a soak in the bathtub about eight hours. Talking about trusting that God. That's why. Because <laughs> right. it's a trust. It's and a I trust had to part. build my faith and build my belief uh, to know that he was hearing from God and following God. And by golly, God showed me and, and let me know for sure that this man was hearing from him. And that's why we're all here together today. That's Hallelujah. why people globally, all around the world, through the television program and many other aspects, are hearing the gospel, Jesus People style. And we God love bless it. you. So Amen. we appreciate all of our volunteers this week. We'll be sending out emails and blasts and all kinds of things just to say thank you. If you will, shout out your favorite areas of ministry. Appreciate those that you know serve with you. Uh, the bookstore, we love them. God bless all of them for carrying the gospel out and selling it around the world. We're just so appreciative because had it not been for God putting it in the heart of man and then had it not been for God allowing your hearts to be ministered to through the lives of we as individuals where would we all be so it takes so many of us it right. takes a team and we appreciate we right. love you go ahead and pat yourself on the back we couldn't do it I we couldn't do ministry you. without other people working in the ministry together with us it's we the know truth. that it's the truth so as we continue on 37 years and 37 years to, to come until the lord returns our commission and our job is to lead the world in knowing Jesus Christ. And that's what we continue you do that to by remind example. ourselves. That's right. We do that by example. That's what we continue to remind ourselves in doing. So at this time, y'all know what time it is before we break bread and get into the Word. What time is it, G? Well, before we start the Word of God and get some more uh, good seed in our spirit, man, it is time to sow some seed into kingdom. We want to sow our seed to help support the gospel of Jesus Christ. Actually, 2 Corinthians chapter number 9. 
9 talks about it, how God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. And that's why when, when it's offering time, we say, go ahead and clap your hands, hallelujah, shout your, with your voice and let God know, Father, no matter what's going on in this world, I trust you. That's your cheer. Your cheer is showing your faithfulness towards God and your trust and confidence in God. The Bible says he loves it. He loves it. And when you do that, he gets back to you. I promise you, I've been there. He gets back to you what you give out, what you sow. God's not going to let you beat him giving. He's a God who gives. He gave Jesus, amen, praise God, for our lives to reconcile us back to him. And he still keeps on giving yeah. and giving and giving and giving. And you know, so many people are dealing with so many things these days. Some people are out of work, out of jobs. And those of us that have jobs, we thank God for it. We That's rejoice right. in it. You know, I'm walking through the house just thanking God, saying thank you, Father. Some are dealing with traumatic situations, and yes. some of us are blessed to be a blessing to those folks. Yeah. That's why we're out with food, helping people to have meals and right. various kinds of things. But we do that because God has blessed us. That's and right. as a result of that, we're going to bless him for keeping an eye on us and keeping watch over us. So let's get ready to sow our seed. Um, the number that you can text your gift to is on the screen. Uh, it's 305-680-1855. Be sure and sow your seed text to give. You can also go online on the website and you can sow that way through PayPal some other uh, means that you might have, Zell, just so to the kingdom of God and you will be a part of helping God's work be established in the earth. God's will is being done in this earth, that's for sure, because Amen. we are making certain that it is happening. God bless you for helping us to see to it that that is happening in the earth. Amen. Amen. And while you're preparing to give, as um, Dr. G was saying, you know, we started the, the meal program in the month of April with the Miami Dolphins. And if you know of someone who is in need of a lunch meal, Jesus People is doing their lunch meals on Tuesdays. So on Tuesdays from 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m., we'll be out uh, giving out meals from our wonderful partners with the Miami Dolphins and the restauranteers within their alumni group. It is just a blessing. Last week, as we were sharing and giving, and the mayor came out, the mayor of City Mom Gardens came out with us, and we were just blessing people. And, and I, it just reminds me of Matthew chapter 25, as Jesus said, when they are hungry, and you're able to feed them, and when, when they're naked, you're able to clothe them. And the principle of that is, is that we are in position, and we are in place, so that when there is a need, God's house can provide the answer. God's people, if you will, provide the answer. And so we're not in a drought, or we're not without. I sent out an email, uh, my letter to the church is continually and to us the family of God like Paul uh, he sent out his letters to the Corinth and to, to those in Ephesus and it reminded me I said you know the Lord says that if you need something have need of anything just ask of him and he provides that for you and there were some links on those letters that gave us information for those that are in need of jobs maybe your job right now that you're currently on put you on some regulated times and hours you know sometimes yeah. some of our jobs have adjusted where we're only working one day a week or two days a week. Well, there's an open door right there, more streams of income. Go ahead and apply for one of those other positions. I know in our area, lots of the grocery stores are available and they're wanting people to come in and help and mm -hmm. assist. Yes. There's so many different things and you don't have to look at it like, well, no, I can't do that. Why not? God is using us as a light and a testimony in every aspect. And then he's allowing the wealth of the wicked to be laid up for you. So go ahead and receive what God has for you and the open doors of opportunity. That's what we're expecting. So Praise we're looking God. forward to greatness. Amen. Amen. We want you to be encouraged. And a little birdie told me, dog, you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. I mentioned it on Tuesday and a little birdie reminded me throughout this week. You'll get more announcements, but Jesus People's musical release, our debut album, has already hit the airwaves. Oh, that's great. Are y'all awesome. ready, Jesus People, for Supreme Most High God? I'm so appreciative to our music department, our ministers of music, uh, all of our band members. We work earnestly and hard since 2018 to facilitate and fulfill and finish one of Bishop's original mm -hmm. intents. He said, 
that the Lord said we that would, was a part we of the vision. We would do an album and we're gonna do albums. Amen. I know the music yeah. ministry get excited when I put that S on the end. <laughs> so get a hold of it and yes, listen to it. Yes. Amen. Put it in your car. It will e blast it out, sound it out, sound the alarm. Um, the official launch will be in May because y'all know May is a beautiful month, right? We know that. Praise the Lord. Pastor is, yes, I'm gloating for May. <laughs> Hallelujah. But God is faithful and we love you. So let's pray over our seed, our time of uh, sowing and giving, giving, and then we'll get into the word of God. Mom and I will share together. Father, we just thank you right now for the seed that we have to sow. We thank you for the family of God that we sow in. We thank you for every provision, every need that's being met, God, because we are earnestly seeking after you to fulfill what your call is so that we can win the loss for your love. It's in the matchless name of Jesus that we pray over this seed that it produce a great harvest, an increase, and people all around our world are changed because of the seeds that we sow. It's in Jesus' name we declare victory. Everybody amen. say amen right amen. where you are and give God the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise He's a God. faithful God. Amen. Come on, girl. Yes, he is. He's a faithful he God. Is. You know, as, as, as you share, I just heard this in my spirit. And um, in this season of time, we're dealing with so much. But the Bible says, just like Fred Heaven, he was on with us last week, you remember? Mm -hmm. uh, Fred Heaven says, no weapon formed against me can prosper, no, it won't work. Say no weapon formed against me shall prosper, no, no, no. It won't work, for God will do what he said he would do. He would stand by his word. He will come through. Say, God will do what he said he would do. He would stand by his word. He will come through. No weapon formed against me shall prosper no it won't work come on and declare that oh, over your life right God. now Hallelujah. no weapon no formed weapon against formed you against can me. prosper we'll we prosper. speak the blood of jesus over work. every it situation that you Hallelujah. dealt with are dealing with God go ahead and touch exactly your body right now if there's do. some kind of sickness or ailment that was trying Thank to attach you, yourself to you we speak virtue over your mind right now by the blood of jesus i felt that in the spirit of god to encourage us that no weapon no weapon formed against you can prosper. Every time Hallelujah. the Bible says that comes against you, it has to cease and fall. So we thank the Lord right now for his Hallelujah. provision through his word. And we're talking about walking out the word of God. We're talking about the standing wisdom of strong God. and the wisdom, and the wisdom of, God. of God. Understanding how to walk the word with wisdom. Because you can't walk the word without the wisdom of God. That's right. Actually, you need the wisdom of Almighty God. He says that his wisdom even the foolishness of God supersedes yes. far above the wisdom of natural man, the natural wisdom of natural man. That's right. And so we can't walk out spiritual things without the wisdom of Almighty God. Okay. And he makes it available to us so we don't even have to try to live life without the wisdom of God. The Praise wisdom God. of God, uh, I was sharing this in Tuesday night Bible study, that it gives you the ability, um, based off of knowledge and understanding, to judge accurately, to, to, to know how to handle your life. Wisdom actually helps you to apply right. what you've learned and what you know. Right. But some people know a lot of things, but they don't know what to do with what they know. Now, that's, that's revelation know? right And there. some people drop what they know in the wrong place at the wrong time. They say things at the wrong time. Wow. Wisdom helps you to know when to and when not to. Mm. And that helps us in every walk, in every relationship. Mm -hmm. every that relationship. helps you on the job. That helps you at home. At home. In the house. Right. That helps you in school. With family and friends. Every, every single thing that you deal things. with. So, so, Doc, since we're in this time of sharing together, what, what would be your first initial encouragement to the wayward heart or the heart that seems like they've gone through so much and, and they, they don't know what to do? How do you encourage them through the wisdom of God? Well, here's the thing. The inspiration from the wisdom of God helps to lift us. Okay. It helps to lift our souls when everything else is trying to press us down, trying to uh, depress us and oppress us. The wisdom of God brings calm 
to situations mm. and helps us to know how to walk out a situation no matter what the situation is. Why? Because God is an omniscient God, right. meaning that he knows everything already. He's omnipotent, means that he has all power. Thanks be unto God for that. And God is everywhere at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's an omnipresent God. And so when God is with us and we're operating in his knowledge and his wisdom, it brings calm to situations when it will be trouble. Like people are dealing with traumatic things these days and right. going through all kinds of harassments and, and fears and right. the enemies trying to come against them. See, the attacks will come, but the attacks of the enemy do not have to penetrate and overcome us. Right, right. And they will not when we walk with the one who knows everything right. and the one who is everywhere right. and the one who has all power. Because let's face it now, this world system, though it's failing, right. the system of the world is failing, and yet that same system is proving to us that it can control us. Right. The world system will control its controlling. It's telling you you can't leave your house. Right. It's telling you where you can go and where you cannot go. It's telling you how much grocery you can get and how much you cannot That's get. That's right. So the world system, even in the banks, they're telling you how much money you can take out. Of your own money. Of your own money and how much you cannot. So this system is literally proving to us that it controls. Mm -hmm. Now, if we're going to manage and if we're going to live successfully and if we're going to live a good life and a strong life and a peaceful life, we have got to have some sort of power that supersedes the power of this world. Wow. And that's only one power. That's only one. That's God's power. He has all power. He said, Jesus said that before he left the earth. He said, all power has been given unto me. And then he said that I give it to you. I give it to you. Mm -hmm. So he gives us the right and the privilege to use what belongs to him. Him, That's right. To keep us in this world, to protect us in this world, and to tell us where to move, where to go in order to avoid the controversy and the hardship. Yeah. that's in this world. So if you're not born again, wow. you cannot make it. You're not going to make it. You need Jesus in your life. You need God leading your life because he is the power that has power over the power of this world. And you already see in the natural what this world's power can and will do. But I promise you and I declare unto you today that there is a power, hallelujah, mm. that's greater and stronger than the power of this world. Listen, the moment you get born again, Holy Spirit comes in. And when Holy Spirit comes in, he comes in with all of his virtues. So all of those fruit, they're in your life already when you get born again. The very moment, not five years later, not two years later, all of those characteristics come in you the moment you get born again. And so the key is to learn and to decide, I'm going to yield. Right. Well, when we were walking in sin, when we were sinning in the world, when we were outside of Christ, why did we do the things that we did that right. displeased God? Because we yielded to those things. Right. If something came to us and told us to, okay, do that, say that, go there. We say, okay. Right. So when God comes to us and he tells us, this is how I want you to act. No, be kind. Uh -uh. No, be tender. No, be, be loving. Then all we have to do is say yes. We say yes to it. We operate in that wisdom, and and, and it keeps us in that's right. that, and that's it keeps you. That's the that should be like the whole thing that helps you to keep going. It keeps you. You know the Bible says, "For the joy that was set before Jesus, He endured." Right? That's right. He was kept because He knew that we would come to be kept. So here it is. Let that same understanding that you are protected, you are surrounded, you are cared for. Right. Let that be your your transparency to keep living this life. Absolutely. When the enemy tries to dangle other things, you, like you said, you know, trying to get you sidetracked. Let the understanding, the joy of knowing, no God keeps me from from the the things that are out there to attack me. He protects me, and so I'm gonna walk continually in His wisdom. Amen. I'm gonna walk in His truth. If you're here uh, with us this 
this morning, this afternoon, as we've been sharing the word of the Lord. I mean, the time goes by so fast <laughs> when you're talking about what you enjoy the most, what you're Absolutely. passionate in. And so we are so excited to have been able to share this time with you. Maybe you're not saved or maybe you know someone who is not walking in salvation. Be that light that they need to give them the wisdom that God will provide, that they could come into the family of God, become right. children of God. Or maybe you say, you know what, I'm saved, but how would you minister to, to me if I, you know, I've been out there and, you know, mm -hmm. I, I don't know how I can come back. Just come you back. You can. You can. That's for <laughs> Just sure. make a decision. She said it was a decision. It's a choice. Just make the choice to let God be the God that leads you into this new place in him. And every test that you take, like she said earlier, you know, you want to pass the test. How do you pass the test? Simply by trusting in the Lord, committing your life to him. Exactly. And allowing him to, to lead you. Yeah. I've enjoyed myself, haven't you? I, yeah, I've learned so much over these last years that God loves us. Yeah. That's bottom line. He right. loves us. And you know, we he didn't get to we didn't get to any love scriptures because it's all fueled off of love. Yeah. Everything in order to walk out the wisdom of God is because you know he loves you. Mm -hmm. And you know, he sent his son. Uh, 1 John chapter 4, one of my most favorite scriptures, 7 and 8. Uh, love is of God. Everyone that loves is born of God and knows God. That's right. If you don't love, you don't know God. And, and God wants you to know him intimately. So let's grow in that. Let's be encouraged in that. Let's enjoy the beauty of our day today. I know you saw a little bit of the background and the scenery. Enjoy your day today. And think and meditate on the presence of Almighty God. As Mom and I have shared, remember on Tuesday, we will be serving meals, uh, lunch meals sponsored by the Mommy Dolphins with us. You can come 12 to 1.30 p.m. Some of you guys will be dropping off your tithe and offer. We still have some saints who just, they have to put it in the envelope. You can mail it. We appreciate you. We love you. We're so glad to have wonderful family members, deacons, deaconesses, watchmen, volunteers. Thank you for being a part of the family of God at JPMCI. Until we see you again on Tuesday or next week, Sunday. And, and, and like Mom said, I'm believing God that we will be back together very, very, very soon. soon. Very, very soon. soon. Send us your prayer request at prayer request at JesusPeopleMiami.com. We are praying every week, Wednesdays and Saturdays, corporately. We come together for a powerful time. We get the word of God in prayer. And then prophetically, the Lord will give us insight on what is forecasted for our next season. And so we want to participate in that as much as possible. If you're dealing with challenges in your body, remember to proclaim the goodness of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Speak over every situation Amen. and ailment. Amen. I'm big on really rocking in the freedom that God has given us health-wise. He says, above all things, I wish that you would prosper and be in good health. Why would he say be in good health if he didn't want you to be whole and healthy? Amen. So enjoy your day today. Take a walk down your community and be encouraged. Because God is with us, He is for us, Amen. and He's a good God. Any good God, Dr. Jean? Good God. Anything Absolutely. you'd like to say? She's my special guest today. Anything you'd like yeah, to say? I think I've said a whole lot today she already. She said a lot. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. But we're, we're Hold just fast to God's wisdom, and we're enjoying walking in wisdom together. You know, the Bible talks about how the older and the wiser women teach and train the younger women, and, and we've submitted to understanding that. And the young show the, the the wiser just how to walk in this encouragement and passion even the more. So we're blending together what God has called for this time at this season. We want to see the wise in heart sharing with the young so that the young become wise. And God has called you to increase and become great. So keep on keeping on. We love you family and Amen. we look forward to seeing you again. And remember whatever you do, always get the right, the right connection. connection. God bless. We'll see you soon.